Kindle Podcast by KindleGuide.com. Thank you for listening. I am Hiro Imafuji from KindleGuide.com. And what's Kindle? Kindle is to discipline the human character through the application of the principles of the katana. All right, uh, this is my second episode. And in the first episode, we talked about the concept of Kindle to uh, have the everyone on the same page. And that is the Kindle that I'm talking about. Okay, now uh, please do uh, email me about or contact me about、uh, what I what you want me to talk about through this podcast. This podcast it, podcast is very frank, I like laid back, easy going.、Uh, I would like to keep a certain formality, but、uh, you know, very casual. Okay, now. Uh, in this episode, I would like to talk about、uh, left hands or the hands in Kendo. And what I was told in the old days when I was a kid,、uh, my teachers,、uh, multiple teachers, told me that、uh, if you move your left hand, especially, okay, left hand,、uh, because, you, because you cannot handle the pressure from your opponent. You lose. So basically,、um, if you lift up your hands, okay, lift up your hands、uh, to block or to react to your opponent's strong pressure, or you think, oh, he's going to come and get me, or she's going to come and get me, and you try to block, or your hands without you thinking comes up, you've already lost. That is how we are learned. And nowadays,、uh, unfortunately, a lot of people just go into the distance, their striking distance, where they get, to, they, get, they get too close to their opponent in Shiai, right? In Shiai, of course,、uh, they get too close by lifting their left hand above their head. So they are kind of blocking and getting closer so they won't get hit.、Uh, In the old days, those b e h a v i o r this action was frowned upon. Why they are doing it now and it's okay? I don't think it's okay.、Um, Kendo has developed its own style. Okay, it is true. Kendo was、uh, derived from, Kendo is derived from samurai swordsmanship. But over the、uh, course of the years, like over the years, right? Uh, it changed.、Uh, we no longer have to kill anyone.、Uh, we know, and then, of course, we are, doing, we are not doing Kindle to hurt anyone. Simple to discipline ourselves, like、uh, the concept of Kindle is to discipline the human character through the application of the principles of the katana. So we are trying to train ourselves inside us, character or mind. Through Shina, or you know, something visible, something visible, we use something visible and we train something, something invisible. So,、uh, this is what Kendo, right? And of course,、uh, Kendo developed the competitive side as well. That's why we have. A lot of people doing Kendo now, and of course, probably that's not how you started, but a lot of people did start because of the competitiveness. All right, now it is true that the process of winning and losing is very important in Kendo as well because it is not about just、uh, winning points or earning points. All right, this is about to discipline ourselves. So,、uh, of course,、uh, it is controversial, but the big thing is, I am sure that those competitors in Japan still hear,、uh, okay, don't lift your hands up like that. Okay? They know they shouldn't. And I strongly believe, and I strongly want to believe that they know that. And they, well, I strongly want to think that their teachers, Tell them not to do it in training. But in Shiai, the nature of Shiai, or the nature of match, is like、uh, if you get hit, you lose, right? And these people are very competitive. 
when you see people on YouTube, they fight, okay? They fight so they can win. They don't fight to lose, all right? So, uh, especially police officers, uh, they, they, they are considered to be professional of kendo in Japan and probably in, the, in all over the world. Uh, they, they are expected to win, okay? So that's, they fight to win. Of course, if you fight to win, there are things you don't do to lose. So, um, okay, what you see on YouTube or in Shi'ai, right? On Shi'ai, on YouTube, everything. They are fighting so they can't lose. They don't lose and they can't win. Okay, I'll say it again. They know how to, how not to lose. They should know how not to lose. Okay, and they should know how to win. Okay, now, we're talking about matches, right? But in old days, right, killing each other with the real sword, right? If you lose, that means probably dead, you know? It's related to death. Whose death is your death? So, if you lose, you die, right? So, um, it is very important in old days, especially in old days, not to lose. Right? It's like lose means you know, losing your life. Um, so it was very important. That's why people, a samurai, train hard uh, so they don't get killed. They can protect themselves and they can protect uh, whoever they love, right? So. It is true that we should know how not to lose. Okay, now back to we don't have to kill each other. Okay, so now in Kendo, we don't have to die, right? We don't die anymore. And um, so we can uh, safely train ourselves. We can focus on train ourselves not to kill anyone. We don't, we don't have to worry about hurting them because we have Shinai and they're protected by Bogu. So we can focus on ourselves, right? That's how to train. And then Shiai, okay? Because we are not police officers, we don't like, we don't get, you know, we do Kendo so we can discipline ourselves. So we don't have to worry about it. Right? We don't have to worry about losing. Of course, you don't want to lose, right? No one wants to lose. And then you don't want to go up to, if you don't, don't think like, oh, you know, I don't care about losing, uh, winning. Okay, probably that's cool. But if you have an attitude of, oh, I don't care if you, you know, if you hit me kind of attitude, uh, I don't know uh, if it's, polite to your opponent, if you know what I mean. Uh, they try hard so they can test themselves. Okay, that's my understanding. You can test your um, techniques as well as your mind. Because of this, I don't want to lose, you have strong uh, control. Your mind suddenly take over and you try to block all the time because you don't want to get hit okay now this is the time for you to realize oh i need to work on my mind more okay because i don't want to lose i block all the time that's not good i should train uh how not to block all the time i should train how i shouldn't lift my hands up all the time okay i have to learn uh how to how to sense our opponent's movement so I can deal with it before they execute their strikes and so forth. So we, we can still, we can learn a lot about ourselves in the match because match gives us a sense of reality, like pressure. I don't want to lose. I want to win. Okay, so you have you have you have this struggle, conflict inside you. That is more important. This is very important uh, part of training yourself. So, you know, uh, I want you to remember uh, when you do jugeiko next time. Try not to lift your hands up. Okay, 
uh, that means blocking and uh, if you feel pressure from your opponent I know your hands uh, try hands move a lot like jumpy uh, all the when you feel pressure your hands move a little bit because you're ready to block or attack okay try to feel that first and then realize what you're doing that is the beginning of um, realizing your weakness once you start you once you start realizing what you are doing okay and then that's the real start of discipline yourself how to deal with your weaknesses okay I hope this podcast gives you a little bit of tip for your next jigeko all right thank you very much for listening again please do uh feel free free to contact me about what you want me to talk about all right thank you for listening and i'll see you in the next episode